Alright, looks like we're recording. How you doing guys? I fiddle around with my settings. Hopefully this works. Uh, processor looks good. Fingers crossed, hopefully it uploads well. Um, yeah, we're in double experience. This is used, uh, this is triggered whenever someone... Item... Two... Sorry about the noise, I'm recording at McDonald's, like usual. Um, it's literally named 2X Experience Potion. Whenever someone drinks this, it triggers for the entire game a double experience event, and whoever drinks it also gets these stat bonuses that you're seeing up here. So we got 15% accuracy, strength, defense, magic, woodcutting, fishing, cooking, mining, archery, and of course the experience lasts for 30 minutes for all players. Now note, there is a small extension if you are going through maintenance on the world that you like, are on. If during the double experience event maintenance happens, there's a small timer extension of like 30 seconds. But the timer does continue to count down while offline. It is not for everybody, like while they're online only. It is on and offline. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's a goal. I don't do archery, but good luck, Kaiser. Um, <clears throat> so, that covers double experience. Now, when I did the wiki chat command, I'll notice it just popped back up with just this. That's because I just did wiki. Now, if I mistype the full command, it will actually, like, error in the, the readout. <laughs> I'm sure they say hello back. Now, get to this screen. You can do it through this screen right here, which if you haven't enabled them, it will say enable mods. And it'll pop up saying you might have to, like, load them again next time you reload the app or window or game or whatever. But if you're on the executable, which is the downloadable client, or if you're on Steam, it automatically loads. Um, YouTube is real life. Another ring from the boss. <laughs> he keeps getting silver rings. Ouch. He's in Cathedral, and he's gotten three rings so far from bosses. <sighs> Sacrifice a goat. Random number generated, Jesus. Um, or <laughs> These guys crack me up. Anyway, I'm going to hide the, the chat so that I don't get distracted. But here's the mods. Full screen mod is actually really useful because... Can I move this? No, I cannot. Okay, I'll move this. <laughs> um, we'll get back to this in a moment. There. Okay, so if we go to video settings, we got smoother interface, which if I pop the chat back up, you can see it like it does this. And some people like that, some people don't. I don't. Okay, I'm nearsighted. I want big, thick, bold text. I love that thick text. So I don't use it. Okay? Game max size. This is what stretches it from here to here. Okay? If I go full screen, window to full screen, that is different from full screen mode. We'll see why in a second. If I do window to full screen, it gets rid of this. I'm actually on Steam right now, so all my mods loaded. Um, the game grid, it's not supposed to be following my mouse like that, but I'll just leave it up here and click. Okay, um, game grid, that is literally the size of the view. Um, center game screen, that, well, as the name explains, it centers the game screen. Let me just leave it off for now. Interface size, it's this stuff, okay? All of this, 
this. Um, here we have your current world, your experience per hour. If you click it, it switches to damage per second, but that resets the counter. If you mouse over it, you can see what skill, your experience, how long till you level up. That's not available on mobile. You can see your current map and your position. You can see what quest you are on, how much you need to do, and of what. In this case, it says I have to kill sand centipedes. And over here, we have modified stats. Now, if I look at my stats, you can see those are clearly not my stats. So, what is that? Maybe one day. Well, with the chat commands mod, I can load slash stats. And you'll notice this text is blue. If I do not use the slash, it changes color. That is because it is a chat command. It's telling the game, I want to look up something. Here's the command. Now, if you have no idea what you're looking up, you can just type slash help. It mentions that when you first load the mods. Use slash help to see a list of mod chat commands. To read a chat command, blah, 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 blah. You can read all that. Okay, so let's say we want to look up the in-game wiki. We type slash help space wiki. We don't need a slash on the second command. And it'll tell us, okay, there's that. And then there's also this chat command. Okay, so help wiki options. And it tells us all this. And I'm not going to read through all that. You can pause. You can read through that at your leisure. And... You know, that'll be useful for you. Then we have the full screen mod. Oh, there's also interface transparency, which, as the name implies, just makes it so things are easier to read. But then we have full screen mod. Now, you can see all the way out to here, okay? I'm seeing, like, up to here, literally, like, on my screen. But if I turn that off, it's just, like, up to here. And you can see that's a big difference, even on the minimap. Speaking of which, the minimap. <laughs> um, we'll get to this in a minute. Okay, we're, go we're going to go through the mod list real quick. Real, real quick, so pay attention. Autocast, that's for magic. If you do a lot of magic, you're going to want that mod. Uh, keyboard, or no, enchant enhanced map. That is literally your world map, basically. Um, it also adds points of interest that you can mouse over. Not available on mobile for that function, but it does add the points of interest still, so you can just go, okay, I need to go to that general area. Um, you might not know what it is that you're looking at when you get there, but you're going to find out when you get there. Um, enhanced market. That is the player market. See, there's a chest right there. If I go to the chest, uh, it says, can be used to access market that, enable, that enables trading with other players. Um, then there's key binding extensions. If I go over to this menu, a lot of people say that's a guide. That's actually an armor stand, by the way. And that is just a regular iron suit of armor. And you'll see, third from the bottom, key bindings. That option is added by the key binding mod. And it allows you to do various things with key bindings. And you can even set them to the same thing. So like, if I have uh, unload pet and deposit all, both set to insert, then when I go to the chest, I hit insert, it'll deposit my entire inventory, then unload the pet. I hit it again, it does the same thing. But since it already unloaded the pet the first time I hit it, now I just deposited everything that was in the pet, and since it's all plus, it will not deposit the favorited items. Now, you may not know what a favorited item is. I'll hold control and click, and you'll see it went green and turned white. Oh, that item's favorited. I did not know that. Um, so I hold control and I click, and you see it just turned red, now it's not white anymore. I release control, and yeah, basically what that's telling me is these items are favorited when I have them with the white outline while I hold control. 
Also, any items you have equipped will not be deposited with all plus, but they will with all. Just plain all. Um, so note that. Um, iron that's sold in Revolve. Uh, a lot of people ask, well, where can I sell this? With the mods loaded, you can right-click an item and just... Yeah, see? Doorpat Fishing Master. Now, a lot of people don't know how to read this. Every single entry is two lines. You have the name and the buy and sell. Okay, so that's information on this column, information on this column. Um, we have the name of the NPC, Dorpat Fishing. And then we have what they buy and sell. So the, if you look, you can see these backgrounds differ, these two. Okay, so that means they sell this item, but not this item. And that's why they differ. That's why they're different. If you fish up one of these, by the way, do not sell it. Whatever you do, they are the best cooking experience in the game. Literally, in the entire game. Okay? It is recommended to do it when you can do 100% success rate. And you'll see, up here it changed. And each of these, again, two rows, just like I said. Uh, level 1 fishing with a fishing rod, 65 with an iron fishing rod. There's nothing better than the iron fishing rod as far as fishing rods go. There are different tools for fishing. It's a whole nother topic. Okay. <laughs> different fish, different tools, different skill sets, that kind of stuff, you know? But this guy, he's only 10 health. His value in the in game wiki is 8,000. That is crazy. That means an NPC will pay you 4,000 for it. If you can find one that buys cooked. Now, um, that being said, look at that number. Now, that is not factoring in double experience, so double that number. 2,500 cooking experience for one item. It literally is the best cooking experience in the game. And I can prove that. Watch. Wiki. Craft. Skill. Cooking. Level 1 to 200. We're going to search the first 200 levels. All the cooking recipes. What gives the most experience? Ah, there it is. <laughs> Just like I said. 1 to 200, and that's the best. The second runner-up is Orfish Deluxe Sushi. And that is kettle cooking, as opposed to the campfire uh, pearl clam. So, yeah, now granted that sushi is like 40 health, so it's four times better, but as far as cooking experience, it blows everything else out of the water, as you can see. And let's, let's just make sure, let's expand it up to 900, just in case there's some random item the devs decided to add in. We'll just make sure, okay, yeah, yeah. Nope, still blows everything out of the water. Now, a lot of people wonder what's the best item to, to cook. Like, what's what's the skill limit? What, what's the maximum? Yeah, see, there's nothing 121 to 900. So, it's, it's nothing. Okay. Oh! I hit range. I want to level. Okay. Range is bugged. It only tracks the first number, not the second number. So it was just looking level 121. Blank. It's like, ah. It's bugged. So, back to mods. Okay, as you can tell, there's pretty much nothing past 120 for the most part. Um, but as far as the actual limit... When the next in goes over the maximum integer size, which I think is like 4 billion, 4 trillion, something like that, when it hits that number, the server crashes. 
all the servers crash because you just created an error. Now, that being said, the game's been out for almost five years now, and on top of that, no one has gone over 150. So, <laughs> good luck reaching that. To look at the high score, some people go to here. On Steam, that function is booked. You want to actually visit the home page and look at the high scores from there, because here, it'll just link to the Steam high scores, and not everyone on the high score list has actually launched Steam, much less launched this on Steam. So there's that. Okay. So we've covered uh, keybinds. We've got gear screen mod. Again, if I open up my inventory, you saw earlier that I found that to be, you'll see show equipment. And basically this just you know, does that. It shows my equipment. It's nothing fancy, nothing too overly useful. But it does allow you to see, you know, if you're missing something. Like, I'm missing gloves, legs, and a chest. Okay, well, I know where those are. They're in my storage. Uh, those are in my storage. Those actually, uh, I lost in No Man's Land. It was just steel gloves. I'll make another pair. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I also lost my boots, I think it was. Which, again, steel boots, no big loss. But I kept most of it thanks to this. Now, if I unequip this, you'll see it just says POP. Potion of Preservation is what it actually stands for. And you'll notice there's these little green squares. And what it covers is literally my equip pet. So you'll notice I unequipped him, he lost his square, equipped him, he gained it. Okay, so it covers the equip pet and two items. Now, these items that it saves are based on your in-game wiki value. So you can see, it's 607.2 thousand for that, 212.8 thousand for that, but this isn't covered. It's only 68.6. Um, you'll notice I've got black opal on that and diamond on that. Uh, this is platinum, this is white gold. That is actually a double upgrade. Um, above this is platinum uh, diamond and then platinum black opal. So there's that. <laughs> That's actually two above that. That's actually, I think, what I'm supposed to be wearing. It's platinum black opal right now, but I can't afford it enough, as you can see. Um, only 860,000. Yes, only. <laughs> Woe is me. I'm broke. <laughs> so, anyway, I put this potion of preservation, and you'll see, now it's got that, 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 and that all covered. It doesn't matter if the item is equipped or not. Again, it's going based on the value. Now, if I unequip that, for example, You'll notice it now no longer covers my boots, which are 24.7. The pet is 126.1, so the pet gets priority. But if I equip the pet, the boots get it again because the pet is already covered because it's equipped. When you die, your pet chest is safe. Your pet's inventory, um, which this part is actually part of this mod, the pet inventory mod. It attaches it right here, right at the bottom. And it tells you things like pet experience, that I think is PC only. This checkbox, also PC only, but these two buttons, they're on the mobile app. And so is this pet inventory section. Or you would have to go into here, we can close that now, and you can see pet experience. This is how it levels up. This will always tell you how it can level up. If it's maxed, it will tell you that, okay? When you die, you lose half of the experience in your pet towards your next level. Now, it will not level down, make a note of that, but it will lose half of it. So I would lose about 12.5% uh, of my next level. I'd have to gain all that experience all over again. Terrible. Um, I'm not sure about PvP for that. 
Um, mouse over stats. A lot of people ask, how can I see my combat level? Oh, there it is. I'm level 85. Um, also, if you have chat commands loaded, you can do slash CL, and it tells you, I'm level 85. Okay. Or, let's say I don't have any mods loaded, you can still do slash combats. And that tells you everyone on your current world. So since I'm on world 3, it's the premium server. All of these people are premium members. Um, and it tells you all of their levels. 163, 155, 154, 137. I uh, <laughs> I shitty lolly. Ouch. There I am. Yeah, so you have to go through the list and actually find like what's where. Now there's also the chat command slash O or online. I did that just now because I wanted to point out green news. These are chat moderators. They can kick people, they can mute people, they can ban people. Be nice to them, okay? Yellow names are people who are on your friends list. And so, yeah, you can see a few different people on my friends list. Some of them are even online. And you can scroll. Of course, there's a scroll bar on the right side here. Um, I just wanted to point that out real quick. Now, we've got... Let's see... Where are we? Gear, pet... Mouse over stats, updated health bar. Without that mod, it's just your name. It doesn't actually tell you how much health you have, how much is remaining, it doesn't tell you anything about the enemy's health, just their name. Um, so there's that. Chest interface. Without this mod, um, you do not get that option, that option, I think that option is missing, that option is missing, and I think maybe the one missing or no yeah the, the one is missing on both sides instead you just click withdraw or deposit um right click menu extensions that was displayed earlier you know check um this is part of key binding huh. i didn't know you could do that the chest okay um yeah you can inspect things which <laughs> it doesn't exactly tell you very much about it. Um, I actually have a few extra potions of accuracy. I can display what they do. I have 74 accuracy right now. Now this says plus 4%. Um, magic damage interface, it just shows the magic damage when you damage a mob. Um, In-game wiki, that's this thing. I've been using that. It's really, really super useful. Uh, make sure you load that one if you can. Uh, some people have problems. Uh, miscellaneous improvements. That covers a lot of things. Uh, chat extensions. That's the chat commands. Farming improvements. That covers your uh, farming queue, which I covered in a separate video. Um, when you go to buy a pet, make sure you go to this guy. And you just buy one of these four donkeys right here. The only difference, really, is the look. This guy will have gold in his cart. This guy will have various rocks and ores in his cart. This guy will have logs, and this guy will have fish. This guy is not related to them at all. <laughs> I wanted to cover that real quick. Um, and, you know, just make sure you talk to the various NPCs, like that guy right there, uh, in the Quest Master. He's got very useful quests, and I'm actually not on one right now, so let me see what I can do. Cooking. Okay, I can do that. Uh, raw trout. I don't think I can fish up raw trout, so I'm not going to do that. What's this? Bone dust boots. That's premium currency right there. I might take that in a minute. Uh, fishing jellyfish. Mining silver. I could do that. Ooh. What's this one? Is that a medium scroll? Yes, it is. Nice. Very nice. I can, I could probably do that. Cactus wood tables. I might go for that. Um, okay, so I'm going to act fast here because the timer starts counting the moment you talk to him. See? Just 
walk into him again, and it starts counting it. Now, I just grabbed the cooking one. It wants me to cook 150 salmon. So, it's simple. I just come over here. I go, okay, this guy sells raw salmon. I'll buy a bunch. And, uh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go... Oh, oh. I performed a bunch of actions in a short amount of time. So, it wants me to fill out this caption. Okay. Now, I'm going to point out real quick that depending on what you're putting it into, the amount of experience changes. And some things, like breeding, for example, actually gets cut in half. Now, I only have level 1 breeding, so it would be 50 experience, but breeding gets cut in half, so I get 25. Now, by that respect, I have 70... No, not even 70. I have 59 alchemy. I'm so, so close. So close. If I get one more level in alchemy, that actually bumps up to 400 experience. Every five levels, you get 50 more experience. So since I'm 65 or more, you know, there you go. Now, it's not recommended to actually use it outside of the double experience, but you can only hold up to five. So, that being said, I actually just accidentally wasted one of my, my capture points on doing that. Um, I had forgotten that I actually wanted to deposit all of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and deposit all of this now. And you'll notice I still have this cooked salmon quest, but I'm trying to hurry because I did want that one for the premium currency. That one enticed me. Um, I do have multiple chess pages, as you may have seen. Where are, am I being blind or... I'm being blind. Okay, so where are raw... Here we are, raw salmon. Um, if you go up to here, you can see sort. I have highlight the ones in my inventory, highlight equipped. I can also do favorited and inventory items. If I do inventory items, it moves them all straight up to the front. If I do favorited, it'll do the same for those. I don't do those. I just I leave those unchecked. Uh, and then for the market, I'll go through the market real quick. You post new offers from here. If you want to send someone an item, you put their name in here. Like, for example, let's say I want to send Shinny Lolly something. Okay, now you'll see on PC when you're typing, you can just, boom, okay, typed in their name. Oh, I want to send it to them for free. I'm just giving them this item, uh, we'll say one clay. Okay, so I, I, I'm just giving them this item. Uh, maybe it's a prearranged trade. Maybe I want to give them five. Okay. And then I just make the offer, and it will appear for me in transactions. Now you'll see, I... Uh, <laughs> I haven't been tending to my transactions. I actually have a bunch of expired transactions here. None of these anyone can see except me. So that's that's not very useful. I want to post all of these again, exactly as they were. So I'm going to resubmit. 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 Oh, no, nope, that one ran out. I actually sold all of those. Resubmit. 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 And you'll see, now they're showing up green. That's because now they're actually active for another 24 hours. Every offer is good for 24 hours. Now, for Shinny Lolly, if I had actually hit, you know, OK on that new transaction, they could just come here, search everything, it would be right there. Green items are always at the top. Green items are reserved for you. So, if someone sends me an item, you know, to Blue64 instead of to everybody, it would be right here, right where that grass seed is, which that's actually a pretty decent deal on grass seed. Um, you know, it's not bad. Um, I see Joseph still hasn't put up another tomato request, by the looks of things. Uh, let me see. I can actually check right now. Right click, market, sell. Nope, nothing. Okay. So, I want to hurry up and get these raw salmon cooked, but first I want to make sure I got a bunch of raw salmon. So, purchase a bunch of raw salmon. And 
And you may be asking yourself, why buy all this raw salmon just to cook it for a quest? Well, it's the reward. On top of whatever it was offering me earlier, I already forgot. There's no real way to actually check. I really should have thought that one through, but... On top of that, um, you may notice I'm seeing you attempt to cook a lot. Now, if I come over here, this is actually a different uh, setup. Here, I've got everything. Skill fails, skill attempts, all nine yards. Okay. But over here... Ah, cooked salmon. See, I failed one. See, you failed. But you'll notice that didn't show up over here. So now, since I actually have room, it's actually telling me loot, cooked salmon, loot, cooked salmon. Let's see what everyone's up to. How much have I missed? I missed a bunch. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Bones of the dwarf. Uh, yes, yes, we do. Uh, Discord, voice chat platform. Okay. Great sword. Oh, oh. I think I lost connection. So I'm going to stop recording real quick, and I'm going to finish up that skill quest, start up the other one, and then I'll see about what else needs to be done.